innovation is essential because the society that we're working with and trying to protect from the ills of public health problems is a society that's changing very quickly. And when a society changes quickly, we need to innovate in response to that. We were very interested in the question of what is causing cancer. It's a very widespread concern people have. But moreover, a given patient often wants to know what caused their cancer. And in the past, what people have been able to say are things like, oh, well, if you smoke, you're more likely to get cancer. If you have this genetic predisposition, you're more likely to get cancer. But that's not really an answer to the question of why did I get cancer? And on just recently, we've been able to answer that question by doing tumor sequencing, being able to see the actual effects of what's causing the mutations that led to that tumor and then being able to quantify how those mutations contribute to the tumor so that we can actually ask the question if someone has lung cancer what proportion of your cancer was caused by smoking what proportion was by age what proportion was by viral infection these sorts of things are things that in the past we've never been able to tell someone and it's the kind of innovation that hopefully will be helpful in improving public health by being able to tell people why they're getting ill and by expressing that uh, information to those who get ill and for having those people pass that information on to those they love so that they can better understand what they can do to prevent the same ills from affecting them. In the past we've always had to do sort of uh, what one might call gumshoe epidemiology which is like investigating all the possible causes that might relate to the people's cancer and sort of just figuring out from no information whatsoever by being in the area and exploring what sort of carcinogens they may have uh, encountered, why they're more likely to have come up with a cancer. But in this case, we could actually take those individuals who get cancer and look at the tumor genome that they have and better understand what sorts of causes might be apparent just from what kinds of mutations occur in the tumor genome. And from that, that may give us a direction and a faster route towards understanding these hotspots where individuals get cancer uh, at higher rates than at other places. I think the Yale School of Public Health has a very great appreciation of the complexity of the society we live in and uh, the fact that the society that we live in is changing very rapidly. And so at the core of its mission is the idea that we need to develop the science that underlies the policy decision making and the science progress that we need to make in terms of uh, innovating for public health.